Greetings, welcome back to another episode of Itadakimasu, where we try weird Japanese foods that fits the theme of the week. I'm Chad. I'm Justin. And, and this week, week we're doing... Mochi. Mochi. Alright, so our first one... That looks kind of weird. <laughs> it's pretty. <laughs> yeah, it's got a leaf on it. it. Looks like a decoration. Yeah, so do we eat the leaf or do we not eat the leaf? I'm going to take a bite that includes very little or none of the leaf. Okay, and yeah. you can just... I'm just going to take a bite. <laughs> do it, it's yeah. comfortable. Just going to take a bite and see what's what. Alright, so it smells... <laughs> Leafy. It smells like the woods. <laughs> <laughs> it does, it smells very much like... It's not a bug, is it? No, I'm not. It oh, smells boy. like... <laughs> like a wet plant. Yeah, <clears throat> it reminds me of when I was a kid and hiking through the woods. That's what it smells like. It's like a really pungent, um, you know, leaky smell. It, so, let's describe this, because this is a really weird thing. From the outside, it's pretty, right? You got this yeah. pink, um, this is mochi. It, look, it, it looks like scrambled eggs, like pink scrambled eggs. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> but on in the inside, you got a big wad of purple bean paste. Bean paste! Oh yeah, our favorite. <laughs> so, probably azuki again, beans, um, sweet bean paste. Mochi should be Swedish. The plant. Swedish mochi? Swedish. <laughs> I don't know how to do a Swedish accent. Go, do it. Do it. Yonky donkey bronky wonky. Pretty close, I think that's right. <laughs> it's like Norwegian or Swedish. <laughs> well. Yeah, so I guess we're just gonna have to take a bite and see what's what. This also came with another thing we're gonna have to try with. Yeah. yeah. So that's gonna come right after this. So let's see what's up. I'm ready, I'm ready. Itadakimasu. I got leaf. A lot. Hmm. Well, a weird combination of flavors. Wow. <laughs> okay. Mostly it tastes like azuki bean paste. Yes. Biting through the leaf is just Ooh. like you would think biting a leaf is like. And it leaves like a flavor on your lips. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we're supposed to eat that part. Although it was softer than I anticipated, I think. Yeah, we just tore it through it. Uh, I ate a lot more leaf than I wanted to. I'm gonna eat just. I'm gonna eat just <laughs> yeah. the mochi part. I tore a piece of mochi off too. So the mochi is like a a real pancakey texture. It's like yeah. kind of a spongy pancake, and it's really good. It's mildly sweet, and even though it's pink, it doesn't taste like strawberries or anything. I think that's just coloring. So. And and the leaf gives it like a shocking flavor. So the mochi is pretty mild by itself, <laughs> mm -hmm. but with the leaf, it's it's a shock. It's a shocking taste. I think the, the most overpowering part of it is the bean paste, um, which is a good thing because the leaf is not good. The bean paste, is, I'm getting used to this stuff. It's not bad at all. Yeah, I don't know if I want to take another bite with the leaf. Because <laughs> that is like a shocking flavor. I don't think you're supposed to eat it. I'm going to take the leaf off. It smells so strong. It's, it's like grass clippings or something. Man, it just smells like the forest. Mm -hmm. you know, the, like the forest floor. So, <laughs> yeah. what do you think? You like this thing? I'm going to say, I don't mind this at all. It's pretty good. So without the leaf, it's a lot more sweet. Mm -hmm. And I would eat this. I probably will keep eating this after. It's a lot though. I don't think I it's would huge. want to eat that much. <laughs> uh, but I would recommend it to somebody. It's really cool looking. It's really pretty, yeah. so it'd be like a nice gift. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend it because it looks very nice and it doesn't taste bad. And it's mochi, especially so. if you don't eat the leaf. So this yeah, so thing. Let's see what's up with this green thing? This looks like just green. So the problem that the thing I'm worried about is that this is probably mochi with that leaf mixed oh up in or something. Oh, uh, it's a it's a third thing. So there's bean, <laughs> there's bean paste in this one too. So it's not just a wad of this green stuff. I'm just going for it. Yeah, I don't taste anything. Are you serious? Do it again. So this tastes like mochi with basil mixed in it. I think that's what it is. <clears throat> it's really strong. Really? You don't taste that. It has a very, very strong herbal taste in it. I think my tongue might be broken because I don't taste a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Better eat a big chunk of this or something. Well, if you eat that azuki, that's what you're going to taste. Yeah, but... it's gonna be bean no, this too. tastes just like, I think it's um, basil or something. It's interesting. It's I don't, good. I don't know if I'd recommend that. What do you think? Mm, it came as a set. Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Wow, um, super unique. Really 
just a herbal mochi, which there's lots of different kinds of mochi, so um yeah, I guess it's a thumbs up. Yeah, alright, thumbs up. Right, so item number two for mochi is this thing. It's all stuck together. <laughs> I should know what it's called, but I don't. I'm sorry. I'm not that um much of a Japanese fan, I guess. <laughs> This is uh, mochi covered in like a sweet glazy stuff and then they barbecue it. I guess they barbecue it first and then paint that stuff on, whatever. It's a very thick, very sticky sauce. It almost smells like meat. Almost. Yeah, it really it's does. It's like a meaty but, like umami smell. <clears throat> maybe, maybe there's different flavors and stuff of these. I'm almost certainly there is. But this one I've had before, this color. And I think it's sweet. If I remember, this is like a real sweet thing, so it's good. I have not had this, so I don't know what to expect. <laughs> well, let's do it. All let's right. clang them together. No, they're never gonna come apart. <laughs> it's like a boss. It's cold. <laughs> no? <laughs> Let <laughs> me show you just taking a bite. Not a whole one. Yeah, it's one. Uh, swallow it down. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> so, very yummy. For me, what this tastes like <laughs> is that thing that we ate and is this food. <laughs> really? <laughs> that it, it was like, whoa, what is this? This is terrible. But it's not that bad. But, uh, do not like. I don't know what the flavor is called, Ugh. but it's like a sweet, um, like a sweet barbecue sauce or something. It's like a teriyaki sauce, maybe. Yeah, so, maybe so. It tastes very barbecued. The whole thing tastes like it came off the grill, and yeah, a little bit sweet. And otherwise, and if it's hot, I think it's better. If they were really cold, yeah, I was surprised. Because last time I had them, they were right off the grill thing, and they were real hot. But yeah, uh, do not like. Not a fan, huh? Would not recommend. <laughs> this one's a solid thumbs down for me. I'm gonna go the exact opposite way. As far as funky looking Japanese food goes, um, and mochi in general, I like. But this one, yeah, it's really funny looking. Uh, it's sweet. It tastes good. I recommend it. <laughs> okay, so for our third one, this <laughs> is kinoko mochi. Kinako mochi. Kinako mochi. All right, so Kinako, you think, is this little peanut dude? Maybe. I don't know. On the package. Yeah. And mochi is mochi. So, no surprise there. Mochi's <laughs> good. Okay, so smell. It smells like peanut something. Mm -hmm. Like peanut butter to me. It smells like that peanut wafer thing that we did which in is, our very yeah, first episode. Which is usually like a sesame flavor. Oh, weird. I have a coating on it. It does have some kind of coating on it. So it looks like a big piece of caramel popcorn. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> and it's this kind of mochi, it's like puff mochi. So it's puffed up and kind of crispy. It has something on the outside. It'd be funny if it was just peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this too, I've never had. I'm not sure what to expect. Uh, yeah, same for me. No clue. Looks good. Yeah. All right, well, let's find out. Eat the dragon moss. Wow. That's so cool. Oh. Powder is like shooting out of my mouth. <laughs> Tastes good though. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Okay. It's like uh, peanut butter. Yeah, kind of outside. Yeah, like a <laughs> peanut flavor. But then it was like dust. It's hard to explain the texture. Dust is a good way to say it because when you bite into it, like it explodes in yeah, your mouth. Yeah, it was like condensed dust and then it explodes. <laughs> It was like puffing out of my mouth. That was weird. So super crispy all the way through. Really puffy. Yeah. Like like popcorn, but way way thinner the whole way through. Mm -hmm. Very strange. Super cool. I like this one. I don't know if I would say it's good. Really? But I mean, it's a, it's all right. I like the weirdest stuff. <laughs> this is awesome, especially if you like real sweet stuff. It's very sweet. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. And if they had different flavors, maybe you'd like on the outside if it was covered in like a consomme, like something salty instead of... Yeah, maybe. You'd like it better, but... because yeah, I'm not a huge fan of like, peanut taste. Even oh, though okay. I love peanut butter, but that's... Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to explain that. Here, <laughs> well, this yeah. is really good. Uh, super fun to eat. Really cool experience. I'm going to go home and tell my family to try this. It's cool. Yeah, it's definitely a recommend. Mm -hmm. Just from the texture alone. 
Yeah, I've never had this condensed dust before <laughs> <laughs> that explodes into peanut flavor. Yeah, so it's definitely a recommend. Mm -hmm. I think we're good. And it's definitely um, mochi, so we win again. Yeah, so three out of three with mochi. Woohoo! Woo all right, so that makes three out of three, and all mochi, we're all good. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks for sticking around, and stay tuned for next week when we try... Yeah, stuff we find in Japanese vending machines. Yes, vending machines, woohoo! <laughs> 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 so until next time, sayonara. All right, so... Typically, we would wrap up the show right here. Indeed. But there's a special mochi thing that's near and dear to both of our hearts that we thought we would share with you. All right, bonus footage time! <clears throat> Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> this is mochi ice cream. Strawberry mochi mm. ice cream. So there's only one fork. You want it? Well, I have mine. I've got chopsticks, right? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> oh, now we didn't put this in the freezer. We put it in the fridge by accident. But so it's oh, kind of my goodness. melty. <laughs> you want to do that one? Oh my. <laughs> you got a plate still or not? For this. So, this Looks. is actually just, it's strawberry ice cream covered in a thin layer of mochi yeah. with um, something inside, I think condensed milk or something. Whatever it is, it's goodness covered in goodness wrapped in goodness. <laughs> yeah. You're doing it, like ripping it. Uh oh, no. I'm dripping, I'm dripping. Just go, go, go. Ah. Eat it, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I think this is probably the first mochi you had when you came to Japan was the ice cream one. It's so good. Oh man, that was a mouthful. <laughs> Did you eat the whole thing? Wow. They're big. Ugh. So, it's just a cool texture with your ice cream. I know uh, in the States right now, it's real popular. Um, frozen yogurt stores and stuff, the buffet style things are real popular. And one of the toppings you can get there is like these little mochi squares. Really similar thing mm -hmm. here. So, just eating uh, this rice paste with your ice cream, and it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the texture is very strange because it's like a rubbery stretchy mm -hmm. <laughs> texture and then once you bite into it there's like an explosion of ice cream well, which not, would also be tough if we had it in the freezer i'd say it's not normally yeah so frozen. our bad there should have been <laughs> <frozen>. <laughs> now the thing is uh if you have real sensitive teeth and like there's no way you can ever bite into ice cream these might be hard to eat because they're too big to eat in one bite unless you're chad yeah. and uh you have to bite through ice cream to get it so i don't know Really good. It's good, yeah. And I would recommend it just because it's so strange. Mm -hmm. And I would recommend it even if it wasn't frozen. Because that explosion of just cold <laughs> ice cream, or cool ice cream, I guess, today is pretty interesting. It's really good. So I think they even sell these in the States probably because they're, they're pretty popular here. If they don't, they should. Mm -hmm.